we do what they call feeding by response. A normal night must have to hold like that to enable fish to breathe. It's called ventilation energy. So that we are in the feeding, you don't know, just get the whole we'll big plate of food and just pour us. Which means a few amount of fish so food will be, will be eaten and then the rest will be wasted and then we sink in the lake. So you pour up feeds by response. What the little what they can eat is what you pour up. Makode Bonfans. The name of our farm is Awenda Fish Farm Limited. Oh. It's located here in Busana, Tongolo, in Buyukwe District. Oh, this is Buyukwe District. This is Buyukwe. That side, you see that hill is already Buyukwe District. I thought this is Jinja. Jinja is the other side, across the lake. That is how you can see, is so that is Jinja. So in this other lake, this other part of the lake is called the, the Victoria Nile. In the middle there, in the middle there, there, as you can see the middle where the ferry passes is the boundary. The other side is the Busoga region, it's eastern. This side is already the central region. Oh. And we do fish rearing, as you can see in the background. Now, for example, in this other room is what we call the nursery room. Where the fish fingerings, they are brought about 2.1 grams. They are brought and then they are poured in this special room where there is a nursery net where it is fed on powder for three months, that is 90 days. It is from here, now when it is now introduced into what they call the production net, the real stronger net, the remain hold, when now the fish is about 50 grams. is when it is introduced in that net, where it is red again for more five months, to make it eight months and then it is ready for production. So, which kind of fish do you rear in this pond? Most of the cage business, we rear tilapia fish. Tilapia fish? Yes. So, why do you choose tilapia fish out of the other species of fish? Because it is the species that is a bit friendly and it can be domesticated. Unlike, tilapia, unlike Nile Patch and Puta, you cannot rear it. Why? Because in Puta, the Nile Park it, 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 it feeds on the live things. So there is no way you can look live things to feed it. Live fish like <coughs> KJ or the silver fish Mukele. You must throw for it something which is still al alive. If it is dead, they cannot feed you. That's why it is hard to feed in Puta. Okay. Yes. So, how many species of fish do you? Do you only rare tilapia or there is any other species of fish that you rare? No, we only rare tilapia. Tilapia. But for other people who have ponds outside, outside the lake ponds out, you can rare catfish and mudfish. Oh. Yes, and so Why did you choose to rare fish in the lake instead of uh, building a dam? Uh, in the lake, I think it is cheap. It is cheap to monitor, it is cheap to rear, and it is cheap to maintain. Next, there is nowhere a your fish can hide unless in the pond is where now. On the sideways, there is mud. There is mud, so fish can decide to enter into those mud 
and even other wild animals like uh, like the the mountain lizards and then the swaswa the mountain lizard the swaswa mm. they can decide to attack you in your pond and they eat all the fish but in the cage the fish is protected is safe if you apply strong nets you put two layers the inner one and the outer there is no way foreign predators can attack you and it is easy to monitor how many fish do I have and when are they growing how, what, what is the response the rate? and like in the pond okay now uh, I can see you have uh, how many uh, of these cages do you have these big cages like these other ones of six security rooms we have four of them and then we have, we have others of four rooms they are three and then those ones of two two rooms they are three and then those ones of single rooms they are also several okay. and we are still planning to add more in the time being so you talked about making i mean rearing fish in the lake being cheap what is the cost of uh, you you just spoke about six rooms six room cage what is the total cost of building one building one like this when it does not have yet nets it's about seven million seven million yes. then with the nets with the nets it depends on the type of net we're using and the millimeter but it ranges a roll of 50 Around, uh, the cheapest roll is a 50 meter by width 3 meters is around 1.1 million in Kenya, Kisumu, is where we usually buy. Oh. But if you want a standard net, one roll that can make a, 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 two, a that can make a net of double rooms is around, is around 3 million. 3 million. Yes. Wow. Okay. We do have um, growing crops keeping off animals like birds, rearing pigs, goats. Why did you choose fish farming? I chose fish, fish farming because it is profitable and even where you invest your money you see. And like in the poultry where diseases can come from nowhere and ruin what you are doing. But in fish rearing it is, it is always hard for fish to die like that. At least where you are putting money, you are sure of you will get it. It is by example, practice by example. Where you put money is where you see. Okay. So, uh, in how many, you told me you have so many cages here. <coughs> so, in how many intervals do you always harvest fish? Because I know as a farmer, you have plans. Like you plan, maybe you know that every, after this time, I should bring this so that I keep uh, I keep on with the customer's demand. And about the, okay, we used to bring in the beginning. We used to bring several fish and stock once, and we waste all once maybe for two weeks non-stop. But later we realize again after that the gestation period it takes of eight months, which it takes again another one to reach is so far and it's very long. So this time we decided. After stocking the first room, it takes us like one and a half a month to stock again the, the other one. Like that, like that, like that. So, what we are trying to say is every week you have fish? No, at least a month. Every month you are having at fish? At least every month. Yes. So, fish that can be a visit for three days <coughs> each month. Three days in each month we are busy harvesting. Three times. So if you you harvest fish three times in a month. Yes. That means most of the times uh, you don't have fish. You you just keep on feeding them. Yes. In this other day you are, you are you are feeding. You are stocking. You are doing the welling of more cages. The purchase of more nets. Yes. Okay. Do you have any fish that is ready or almost ready for harvest? Yes, they are there, which is about two months. Period. Okay, can we see them? They are in the other cage. There is a next cage in that in this room. Okay, can can we go? And, can yes, we can go. One week.
Men of men of Japan. Men, 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 so how many months are these ones? They are about five months. Oh, five months. So it's five months is like uh, uh, how many kilograms? A half? Yeah, majority. Ma, ma, yeah, majority in half to if they have just real grown, even up to seven hundred grams, they can reach. But majority in, 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 in five hundred grams is a half. So how many times do you feed them in a day? Well, it depends on the feeds you have, but the standard way is two times a day when they are five months because they eat a lot. That's why at least two times. But three times you will have to income more food, more feeds. But you cannot feed it once. You do under feeding them. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm seeing you. You are pouring uh, feeds on the on on the net, and I can see that the net is uh, somehow not covered from here. What up, what happens if if uh, the feeds you are pouring gets down and then the fish doesn't eat. Don't you think you are wasting it? Now we are, we do what they call feeding by response. A normal net must have a hold like that to enable fish to breathe. It's called ventilation and aeration. So now we are in the feeding, you don't just get the whole of, you have to pay the food and just pour once. Which means a few amount of fish, of food will be, will be eaten and then the rest will be wasted and then it will sink. So you pour up feeds by response. What they need to what they can eat is what you pour. When they finish eating, again you pour. It's actually worried. So are these uh, do you buy these feeds or you make them by yourself? We buy raw materials and we have a machine that makes it. We buy the raw materials. Like uh, if you want to make 100 kilograms of these feeds. You must buy at least 50 kilograms of pollard. Pollard is a residue from the wheat, from the wheat factory, yes, the residue that is made after the real wheat has been utilized. So, pollard, you buy at least 50 kilograms, and then you get blood, which is dried, at least also 15 kilograms. Which blood? Blood from animals, maybe blood from cows. They go in those abattoirs and then they collect the dealers. They collect and then they dry it and then they for selling to us the farmers in Korea. Like 15 kilograms of blood, like a ton of soya, like a ton of cotton cake, and then like a ton of mukene, and then five of sunflower. And then you mix and then, yes, and then you mix together. And then you grind it in the machine to form powder. It's what you mix into a pellet making machine. And then it's for uses, uses it in this format, and then you dry it, ready for feeding. If that is how it looks. It is much cheaper, this feed, is, compared to the modern ones which are imported, like aqua and then the kafika, they're too expensive. Which means at the end, if you use the other modern feeds like aqua, you realize it low profit making. So, but uh, is, are these feeds that you are making, do they uh, bring out good quality fish? Yes, exactly. Like the other ones you buy? Yeah, like aqua, but the only advantage, the, the, okay, the only advantage may be, the only it's advantage that, that maybe this feed has over aqua, the other one it floats. So even if you're a learner, you don't have to feed, you just pour, and then fish eats it. But this one, you have to be more experienced to use it. 
that it is a low effect. You, it is a low cost will, effect. You will be wasting. Food. Yes. Just pour in how in rush hour you will be wasting. And not every food fish will eat. Another thing, how many how many times do you feed do you feed this fish? In a day? Yes. When they are about five months, you feed at least two times. But from three months after nursery to the five the fifth month, three times. In the nursery even four times to five. Yes. So when they are still younger they overeat. They overeat. Because their food is always in powder form. So they get angry every other time. They're just like a baby. They are just to suck every other time. But now when they are becoming to adult, yeah, the adult person you can only eat once or twice and you put it in the and like with the baby wants the milk, milk suckling the never. I can see the lights on every on most of the cages. Why do you put on the lights? It is for security reasons. It prevents people from can other passers by on the lake from knocking the cage one. It shows you intruders. Intruders who are approaching the cage. And the three. Even the, even the wild animals like in Dukuru, always attempt to attack the cage. But when they see the light, they fear light. What is in Dukuru? Dukuru is a water animal that eats fish. Now in one in, in only one cage, how many fish can it contain? Now a cage contains fish depending on the surface, the total the size of cage, the diameter and the depth of the net are the two main factors that play a role in which which amount of fish is to be there. Now for this particular cage is called a sack. It has a net of eight meters deep down. And it accommodates 15,000 fingerlings of a fish. Now, in this other one, when it is properly fed in eight months, the 15,000 can give you like 5.5 tons. Now, in 5.5 tons, if you get you now like uh, two and a half tons big, and then you get two tons, maybe medium, and then even if one ton is rejected, then you are in good money. Because at one ton of big fish from 300 grams above is now at 80,000. Which means out of 2.5 tons, that is a, you are 8 million times 2, that is 16 million plus 4, that is 20 million, just 2.5 ton. And then the two tons of medium out of 60,000, that is your 12 million. That is 12 million for medium. That is 20 million for big, that is 31. That is 32. 32 million. But as you are rejected, even if you get 8 million, no, 4 million, you are one ton. And then you are through. That is 36. Yes. So in one pond, you can get about. 36 million. Yes. And what about the inputs? I mean the feeds and uh, all other inputs, labor and all that. Yes. Now labor, labor, labor it is a general thing because we have our permanent workers, about three. And each of them are 300,000. Which means now, 
300,000 times the 8 months, which means in the labor alone, you have three, six, that is nine, nine, 9 times 8. 9 times 9 times 8. That is 900 times 8, yes. 9, nine times what? 9, that is, nine, that is 900,000 times 8. Times eight months. Times eight. Mm. Eight point two million. But I say our fee here is one 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 hundred shillings each, which means fifteen thousand is one point five million. That is one in eight eight point two plus one point five. That is a nine point one point seven. Eight point two plus one point five. One point five. That is a yes. Nine nine point six. Okay, we shall do the math and the feeds. And the feed is to feed that fish. To maturity, it can, it, can, it, it, it can cost you even about 6 million. 6 million, so we can do the maths and see. Yes. So that means fishing is actually highly profitable. Very, very profitable. Very profitable. Wow, that is good. And the labor, we have calculated in general, because, because the labor we feed us, they don't feed only one room. They feed the whole room in general. Oh. But you find even that the outcome, just one cage, but not even outmatch the labor. Big is, is always fish from 300 gram to above. Even to one kilo, even if one and a half kilo, which means it's from 300 grams up to above to endless, the biggest size. It's always 80,000. But the price is not, is, is, is not constant. As now, there's no gain. The price can even go up to nine, up to nine, five. Yes. yes. But the constant price is 80,000. Now medium, or what they got them to call small, is between is 290 gram up to 150 gram. Is is 6,000 or 7,000? And then what they call range is something below 150 gram. They will figure it. What they sell 4,000 a ton, a kilo. Oh, 4,000 is for a kilo. Yes. If you have your one ton of the figure, is your four million cash. Okay, so if if I know many people eat fish as a source of protein, yes. So if they want to reach out to you, how can they reach out to you? I have my telephone contacts. Okay, they can reach me on the phone. The phone is the main thing. On the phone, there's WhatsApp. My telephone number MTN is zero seven six one five eight eight four seven eight one. I repeat again. My MTN number is 0761 Okay, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. It has been a pleasure meeting you and taking me around your farm. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah.